Hey Libra, so we'll get started on your October the 6th through the 12th weekly read. Let's see what messages we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Messages, guidance. All right, Libra. So we have a life path. Let's see what we have for a life path. It says, do you wonder about your divine life path? Uh, do you wonder about your divine life path and purpose? You have been enrolled in spiritual training. This training might be obvious in the form of a course you are undertaking or hidden in a life lesson that is currently triggering your healing, learning, or growth. Whether it is obvious or not, successfully completing this training will empower you to fulfill your divine purpose this lifetime. Further clarity will be revealed to you. The universe promises that you shall know what you need at the perfect time and in the way that you cannot miss. Okay? So your life path with the underlying energy being spiritual service, your life path has something to do with the spiritual service you have in this lifetime. It's connected. Duh. Okay. So let's continue. <laughs> Didn't want to say duh. You know what I'm saying? Let's continue. All right. So we'll be using the Mythic Mondays. I think I'm going to be using these for the weekly reads. I like these for us now. So let's see what messages we have. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for October the 6th through the 12th. What messages do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? For October the 6th, October the 7th, October the 8th, October the 9th, October the 10th, October the 11th, whew, October the 12th of 2019. This is for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages for guidance do we have for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Underline energy of the week. High Priestess here. So this may be you following your hidden knowledge. I mean, this may be you following your inner knowledge. This can also be some things that you're needing to trust your intuition about. All right. So let's see here. For Sunday, we have the King of Wands. So this could be um, someone finding a new focus. This could be someone focusing on something new, creating something new. You could also be dealing with a fire sign, male, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Monday, we have the Seven of Cups. So there could be some confusion. So this could be another man. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with another man. And you could be confused or... or going through some options you have. Ace of Wands, I do feel like for uh, Tuesday, there could be a new opportunity. Wednesday, we got strength. So some of you guys may have to find the strength to move toward that new opportunity. Some of you guys could be could have a clean slate with this, clean, with this King of Wands in regards to a relationship. So if you're dealing with a, a fire sign male, you could be confused about a new opportunity or confused about moving forward. There could be a clean slate. You may be needing to find the inner, the inner strength to really make a decision about this, this situation. The Two of Cups here for Thursday, I do feel like this could be a dealing with a relationship or bringing balance to a relationship. Friday, yes, Justice Card, this is you. So I feel like maybe you're wanting, you're trying to find strength to bring balance to a relationship, to give a, new, a relationship a new start. Okay, so, so for Saturday, we got the Ten of Cups here. I feel like this is a relationship. I feel like some of you guys are wanting to move forward, but there is some confusion about a new start you have with the relationship. The Four of Pentacles here, I feel like some of you guys could be holding on to this relationship. With the High Priestess here, I feel like you know what will bring balance. So we're going to see how this works out because even though the spread looks nice, I'm going to be real with you, I feel as though... There may be multiple people involved into this situation. I feel as though there's a new offer of love. And some of you guys are confused because you may be rekindling a relationship as well. So Sunday with the King of Wands. Why is this King of Wands here? Okay. So I'm going to use them, but I'm going to turn them over because my deck is in reverse. So yeah, High Priestess here, Transformation here. Some of you guys know that a change needs to happen or that a relationship needs to end in order for you to move forward here. So that's where the focus is coming in. Some of you guys could be taking on this King of Wands energy, really wanting to focus on creating a new path for yourself. Oh, my apologies. Really wanting to focus on creating a new path for yourself, really wanting to focus on being able to 
move forward towards something that's more stable, wealthier, more fortunate. I got two tens here with the transformation. So someone knows that a situation needs to end. My apologies here. That was my phone. All right. All right. So for the Seven of Cups here Monday, I feel like there could be some confusion. You could be dealing with a lot of temporary things. Um, I feel like there's a need to make some decisions. This has to do with something that has emotional value to you. Okay. So, yes. Ooh, most definitely. Empress here. Cherry here. Empress here. Someone could be ready to move forward towards something new. Um, could be communicating here about a new opportunity here. Star here could be dealing with an Aquarius. Could be dealing with a Libra or Empress as well. But I feel like this is you really thinking about how you want to move forward toward a new opportunity. Really finding the strength to overcome either your own disappointments dealing with your wishes of the past. Or some of you guys could have been disappointed in the past and really needing to overcome that disappointment in order to move forward. So that does represent needing to release the past. Seven of Pentacles. I mean, Seven of Cups with this. Minus this six of cups is one cup. So I feel like for some of you guys, there's a new opportunity. Um, and in order for you to move toward that, you're, you are needing to release your hopes of the past or rekindling the past. All right. So ace of wands here. Yeah, moon card here. There's a lot of confusion with that seven of cups. There's a lot of confusion and procrastination. So why is this ace of wands here? Why is this ace of wands here? Why is this ace of wands here? All right. Hmm. So you're conflicted about a new opportunity here. Some of you guys have a new offer, a new opportunity here. Ace of Wands could be granted a new life. Ace of Pentacles, see what I'm trying to tell you? That's a new life. Um, I feel like you're in balance. You keep going back and forth between the new life and the old life. There's still a cooperation with someone that causes you to have some conflict. That's there. That's why there is the confusion. Like I said, some of you guys could be moving or wanting to focus on a new path for yourself. Ace of Wands. Um, but there could be someone that's focused on coming back in that's causing you to have some confusion. You're trying to make a balanced decision about a relationship, trying to figure out what makes you happy. And I do feel like you're going to need to find strength and follow your intuition in order to, you know, get there. So why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card here? Nine of Wands, see what I'm saying? I mean, Nine of Swords. So the strength to really get out of your head, the strength to overcome your anxiety, to overcome the cruelty that you're imposing on yourself by allowing yourself to not be balanced. Six of Pentacles, balanced within your thoughts. Queen of Pentacles, this is about you making a, a, a balanced decision. I feel like someone has anxiety about really balancing out a situation. Could be dealing with an earth sign. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So with the Two of Cups here, I do feel like Thursday, this is about a relationship. Um, I feel like this is two people drinking from a cup. But the thing about it is, 4-4, four, four, I feel like both of you guys are, and I, I really hate to say this, but you know these corners don't lie. Seven of Swords, Four of Swords, you need to retreat from the unstable efforts of this relationship. I feel like this is two people that are holding on, Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords here, to a deceptive or unstable situation here because of their desire or lust to keep things balanced. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, someone has some responsibilities that are conflicting a situation. So two people are holding on and really being deceptive in a relationship. Both of you guys are drinking and I want you to see this from your own fucking cup. You got two people here drinking from their own cup, but pretending that they're intertwined. They're not even intertwined with each other. They're just here kind of partaking in the same life. So justice here, Libra energy here for Friday. Why is justice here? This is about weighing the pros and cons of this connection here and really trying to identify whether it makes you happy. Does this make you happy? Ace of Cups here. So I feel like you're weighing the pros and cons. Seven of Cups here, Knight of Wands. There's an offer. There's a new offer here. You're weighing the pros and cons of do I stay where I am or do I go toward this new offer? Do I go toward this new life? World card under here. This is about a cycle that is ending in your life. Some of you guys are needing to overcome so that you can move forward. Ten cups here as the outcome. Why is this ten cups here in the outcome? Why is this ten of cups here in the, in the outcome? Why is this ten of cups here? 
So we have the Three of Wands with the Queen of Cups. So I feel like someone's establishing their strength to love themselves no longer at a crossroads with the situation that causes them to be unhappy. Somebody is choosing to go through happiness, I mean to go toward happiness by releasing the past. Ten Cups minus Four Cups is Six Cups. So someone is releasing the past and choosing to take full energy, a leap of faith toward what makes them emotionally happy. So some of y'all are following your intuition. You're torn between the 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 new and the old, but I feel like you're needing to trust yourself in this decision. I feel like you're retreating from a situ from that situation. You feel like it, you're doing what's best for you. I definitely feel like you're doing what's best for you and really, you know, trying to mentally and emotionally balance out yourself around this situation. So I feel like some of you are focused on a new start, following your intuition. What messages do we have? Oof. Okay, that was vigilance and rebirth. So someone could be very, you know, persistent about giving a situation another chance, but you know what you need to do. What messages do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Nurturing, be nurturing to self. This is Mother Earth. So this is about you, your foundation. This is about you being nurturing to yourself, really finding your grounding here. I feel like lightning has struck because you've been in communion with yourself. You've been in communion with spirit. You know what it is that you need to do. You've had this tower moment and you know that a cycle is complete. So some of you guys need to follow your intuition. Break this karmic cycle so that you can really move forward. Hmm, look at there, release. So I'm trying to tell you. You know what you need to do. Heal so that you can move away from this situation. That's all I have. Until next time, y'all. Peace.